Hey, Facebook friends, uh, thanks for checking in on this Monday afternoon. How do you deal with incomplete information? Uh, you know, I'm an Enneagram number five. That means I want to know all I can before I make a decision. I want to know all the facts, all the options. I think that's one of the things that's making this season so difficult for many of us is we just don't have all the information. Even the people who are making difficult decisions on our behalf don't have all the information that's out there about uh, the COVID-19 uh, virus and all the ways we humans respond to it. Let's stop and think though, we really don't have all the information we think we have every day. Whether you go to the store shopping for chicken or whether you're on a lot looking for a new car, you don't really know what's the best price or the best value or the best deal. Every day we make decisions without having all the information right in front of us. We deal every day with incomplete information. Uh, so I just want to remind you that that's the way we deal all the time. We always live and make decisions with incomplete information. Uh, so let's do the best we can, give grace to ourselves and give grace to one another uh, as we make decisions with incomplete information. Today, I want to give a shout out uh, to some other folks that make decisions in their lives for us uh, to serve us with incomplete information every day. And that's folks in our healthcare and medical world. Uh, you know, they deal with, with taking care of us with, you know, we have a symptom or two and maybe they can run a test or two. And then they have to make decisions about how to treat us. And, and they are working with their best wisdom and their best information and experience, but they're always dealing with incomplete information. Uh, and especially in the midst of this pandemic, our medical folks from, from LPNs and RNs to nurse practitioners and physicians assistants and medical doctors and anybody else I forgot, uh, they're out there making their best decisions, caring for us uh, right on the front lines, still working with incomplete information and doing their best to serve and to heal and to help. So if you know somebody in the medical world, uh, maybe you can't give them a hug right now, but at least acknowledge them, send a note or a text message saying, hey, I'm thinking about you, I'm praying for you uh, in the medical world as you're working on our behalf right now. Let's pause now and pray. Uh, Father, we thank you that uh, even though we live with incomplete information, uh, you don't live like that. We have this assurance in the Psalms that you have searched us and you have known us. And, and Father, Father, while our uh, knowledge of many things is incomplete, our information is incomplete, this is complete, your knowledge of us and your great love for us. Uh, with Jesus, we pray, give us today the bread we need, exactly what we need for today. Care for us, tend our souls, as we offer ourselves for one another and for you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Hey, thanks for checking in with us today. Uh, God bless you.